My name is Tony Harris, and for more than 30 years as a journalist, I've charted the troubling racial and ethnic divide in our country. My objective, investigate the pivotal cases that put the Southern Poverty Law Center on the map. White supremacist Glenn Miller is terrorizing a Jewish community center in Overland Park, Kansas. So far, his deadly shooting spree has claimed two innocent victims. He was killing them because they were Jews, and he said he was dying, and he wanted to go out making a statement. In a sick twist of irony, none of Glenn Miller's three victims were Jewish. I arranged to have Glenn Miller call me from jail. I wound up killing some accomplices of the Jews, and so I feel good about that. My name is Tony Harris. I witnessed domestic violence as a child. My journey has led me to uncover shocking stories from unlikely and brave survivors. Steve Valenti's love of motorcycles and tattoos makes him look like a classic tough guy. Were you afraid of her? Yeah, I was. I mean, she threatened to kill me. For the longest time, I thought she could kill me while I sleep. Experts say that 75% of victims who are murdered by their abusers are killed as they try to leave. He shoots at me through the windshield, and he misses. Nicole drove blindly from the driveway as 911 calls started to come in. Corey had been shot four times, but a year later, he was back in the game. Imagine what we can do this year. Come on, man. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. <laughs> uh, you still got it? Uh, I never had it. <laughs> <laughs> But the ordeal is not over yet. In November of this year, Nicole and her sons will have to testify at Richard's trial. I'm Tony Harris. Throughout my career, I've reported on terrorism in all its forms. Today, I'm investigating a deadly homegrown threat spreading to cities all across the nation, lone wolves. There's nothing you can do when someone really is determined and doesn't care what the cost is. And is willing to die. And is willing to die. Emmanuel AME Church is the oldest and one of the largest African-American congregations in the South. And now this new chapter in its history, written, the authorities tell us, by Dylan Roof, a young man with hate in his heart. He had come to hate people who look like me. He had come to hate black people. He shoots these people at point blank range. Dylan Roof wanted to start a race war right here in yeah. Charleston. Yeah, he wanted to start a race war and he failed miserably.